storm watch once again tonight as flash flood watches and warnings are in effect throughout the Coachella Valley and the surrounding mountains. It's going to last until 10 o'clock tonight. This after a flash flood warning expired about 30 minutes ago for us here in the valley. And though it might not be raining where you are right now, strong storms are headed our way. Taking a look at our latest Doppler satellite, you can see that the storms will continue to make their way to the north and to the west, coming across from our southern mountains, which of course gives us that increased chance for actual rainfall here on the valley floor. But as of right now, looks like most of that rain is staying up in our local mountains, specifically up Highway 74 in the Idlewild area. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe has been following preparation for this latest round of storms. She's live tonight up on the aforementioned Highway 74 near Vista Point. Angela, you look dry so far. Definitely still looking dry. We've been waiting for this all day, but as you said, Highway 74 is under a flash flood warning closer to the ANSA area. And of course, those burn areas from the mountain fire and other fires we've had around the area this summer, they are at a higher risk of flooding. Now, if you do look over to this area, the top edge of Palm Desert, Kawea Canyons, that is one of the hardest hit areas in the Coachella Valley by flooding on Sunday. A thick layer of mud and dirt, the twisted metal of a truck washed off a ravine, and crumbling roads are evidence of Sunday's fierce flash flooding. Bill Infante lives in the Kawea Hills above Palm Desert. He hasn't seen it this bad in several decades. I was looking for every towel in my house to keep the water out, and uh, it was coming down in waves, and you were watching just stuff fly by. The fast moving flood had so much power, it carried this truck down a hill. It's in the wash. Darn near been in half. That's how powerful. It was. It came down that quick and that strong, so it's a mess. Bill says the owner wasn't in the truck. Many roads are still covered in mud. Crews are working to clear them. It hasn't been this bad in a while, but it can get even worse with more rain because when we don't have a lot of rain, when it rains like it did, it gets real bad. You can see here in the Kawea Hills above Palm Desert just how intense the flood waters were on Sunday. The water came rushing down the wash, bringing down parts of the road. Over in Palm Springs, Araby Drive shut down for days because of the flooding. It's one of only two ways into the Araby Cove neighborhood. I was the last car to leave Araby Drive. Uh, the workmen were putting up the barricades and so forth when I went through, and it was about up to the wheels in the car at that point. Valley residents hope the flooding is over for now. Especially with the fires uh, recently, the, the vegetation can't hold the water and so forth, but still, uh, I think it's a minor inconvenience. Now, the flash flood warning is in effect for parts of Riverside County until 6 p.m. tonight. However, we haven't experienced any precipitation yet here in the valley, but there is a flash flood watch until 10 p.m. Live at Vista Point, I'm Angela Monroe. Now back to you, Gino. All right, Angela's going to stay in the mountain for us until she gets rained on. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs>